Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and we're once again back in the downtown Las Vegas Arts District at local hotspot 18 Bin for another songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. Boasting both an outdoor dining area and full-on stage, and an inside bar and smaller stage, 18 Bin has a lot going on for it. You owe it to yourself to drop in if you're in the area. So grab the kids and jump in, everyone, because we're once again headed downtown to the Room 6 Mobile. This video is brought to you by Wicked Good Cupcakes. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's video. Before the review, a quick note. If you'd like to be featured on a future showcase, contact Hal Savar using his social media handle that I've put down in the description. That's also where you'll find the social media handles for every act mentioned in this video. If you'd like to be featured on Room 6, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link down below as well. While you're down there, feel free to like, share, and subscribe to help me grow the channel and its support of the local music scene. Thanks! Opening up the show this time was a new act to the showcase, known as Ever. This was actually their first ever performance, but you wouldn't know it from their tight act and balanced sound. Creating mellow vibes with a chill blend that reminded me a little of 80s band 10,000 Maniacs, they were a great way to start the showcase, and I look forward to hearing more from them in the future. Up next was showcase favorite, David Wax. David's always a treat to watch perform, and this time was no different. Playing both older and newer songs, he managed to follow an entire band by himself and did it with style. Taking listeners on a musical journey and making great use of dynamics and tempo changes, he grabbed the torch lit by Ever and ran with it. Next on stage was the amazing songwriter Caroline Tronoski, who also had her first live performance on our showcase stage way back when. Caroline's sound is soft and sweet, utilizing her lilting voice perfectly as she croons through songs full of life, love, and heartbreak. A robotics teacher by day, Caroline's a great singer, and we love having her on the showcase stage. Following Caroline was the incredible duo known as Beyond the Arrow. Bringing some soft country rock to the night, this dynamic pair proceeded to put on a clinic in how to hold an audience wrapped with attention to every note and lyric as they wove stories full of emotion and solid songwriting. Joined by our host Hal Savar for their last song that they wrote together called Nevada to Mississippi. If you haven't checked them out yet, you're missing out. Sticking around on stage, our host Hal Savar was up next. Whether singing out a love song he wrote for a wedding, or rocking out some of his earworm-laden tunes, Hal's a master at grabbing an audience's attention. He injects humor and personal backstories into each song, and he set the stage perfectly for the next act. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Past Josh. Mmm, I love cupcakes. It's a cake you can hold in your hand. Plus, you can fill them with virtually anything, and the toppings can be whatever you like. You know who makes really good cupcakes? Wicked good cupcakes, that's who. What started as a way for a mom and daughter to spend time together quickly became a nationwide phenomenon. Their innovative cupcake in a jar idea first pitched on the TV show Shark Tank for shipping delicious homemade cupcakes nationwide has made Wicked Good Cupcakes a household name. With decadent flavors and enticing, unique presentation, Wicked Good Cupcakes' delicious, sweet, and fun cupcake jars are a great way to add delight to any occasion. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get free ground shipping on custom six-packs. Delivering to me here in Nevada, that's a savings of almost 20 bucks. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Wicked Good Cupcakes for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. Next up was showcase favorite, Quinn Turner. We've seen Quinn perform with everything from a full band to solo, like at this event. And every time, he's a hit with the crowd. His music comes from the heart and mixes a little hope into every set of music he plays. Channeling a little James Taylor with his songs, he was a great reset on the night. Finishing things off was Sufi and her band. In the past, we've seen Sufi perform with multiple musicians in more of a stripped-down fashion. This time, we were treated to the full package, and it was great. Covering everyone present with relaxed vibes, courtesy of music that combined elements from genres like soul, R&B, island, and reggae, 
put a nice nightcap on the night and sent us all home with a smile. Overall, the latest installment of the 18 Bin Songwriter Showcase hosted by Hal Savar went great. I sincerely can't wait for the next one on Thursday, May 2nd, and I hope we'll see you there as well. If you can't make it in person, hop on the live stream. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope we'll see you at the next 18 Bin Songwriter Showcase on May 2nd. It starts at 6.30 p.m., and if you can't make it in person, consider jumping on the live stream. Speaking of the live stream, I put the link to the live stream for this event down in the description. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, click over there and ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.